a northern New York woman facing several charges after police say they found her living in a stolen camper in Vermont. NBC5's Benny Nezai spoke with the owners of the camper who are happy to have it back tonight. This camper behind me is back where it belongs in Chazy, New York, after police say it was stolen and taken across state lines. You get a sense of security um, taken away from you because, you know, um, your property, somebody came on your property and took a, a trailer. Yvonne Inman has owned this nearly $50,000 camper for the last two years and says she never expected something like this to happen. When Inman and her family returned from vacation to their site on LaPointe Road in Chez Z, the camper was gone. We didn't find out till we physically came to the property on the 22nd and saw ourselves that it was missing. And that's when we called the state police. After days of searching, authorities found the camper in Vermont's Champlain Islands. They say 38 year old Kristen Carnahan was living in it at a campground on Quarry Road in Isle Lamotte. Carnahan, who is from Peru, New York, is accused of criminal possession of a controlled substance in the fourth degree and possession of a stolen property. The family was able to get their camper back on Friday, but not in the best shape. I'm just amazed that people would do that, but obviously, People do. They, they feel they can take somebody's property and turn it into theirs and trash it. And that's exactly what happened to this. It's a mess in there. Neighbors in Chez Z are concerned that something like this could happen. It was frightening um, to think that someone had that type of knowledge about this area. Um, and I felt so bad for Yvonne. And despite this incident, Inman says she still feels safe at her campsite, but will take extra security measures going forward. You have to realize in reality, um, you have to take the extra step to, to secure the area that you're in and your property. But yeah, no, I would not feel like I couldn't stay out here. While law enforcement is still investigating this situation, Inman and her family say they'll be working on getting the camper back in good shape to use it again. In Shay Z, Benny Nazai, NBC5 News. Kristen Carnahan pled not guilty today to all the charges she's now facing. She also waived extradition back to New York.